Welcome back guys to another episode of Behind the Punish. We have another special guest, uh, Sefi Black over here. Uh, you can say hi. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, nice to be here. I'm very excited. He's been one of my idols since I began Tekken and uh, he's really, really big in Europe in the European scene. He's he's the at least in my opinion the best uh, Miguel player in Europe and he competes in the best Miguel in the world as well. So uh, no further ado, we cut to into the intro. Uh, see you there. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask the guest a multiple of questions, but here's the catch. This is going to be all done while fighting each other to make the overall experience a bit more exciting. Okay, we're back guys. Um, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that intro. <laughs> uh, so we're starting things off with uh, the first question here. Uh, people ha have always wondered, how do you stay calm in certain situations? Like you, you always have a bright smile on your face uh, in tournaments and if, if someone hits you with uh, what people may regard as uh, Unga Bunga Tekken, you know, <laughs> you, you still stay calm. How, how do you maintain that mentality to, throughout Tekken? Um, I'm always thinking myself like if I'm getting mad, I will play worse. And so I try to be not mad about the situation and be like, okay, this happens, but don't be surprised that it happened because it's it would make me play worse. So I try to have a positive mindset, I would say. So you you like you see you try to see into the future so like, to to not get tilted because if uh, if you do, you would play worse basically. If if I if I yes. heard you right. Exactly, exactly, yeah. This makes me a bad player from my experience. I know, like, if I'm tilted, I'm not playing good, so I I don't start with it. I, I've heard players that uh, actually increase their skill when being tilted. <laughs> I yeah, it depends on the player, it depends on the player. Some players are like that, other players are not like that. But uh, me, from my experience, I was like, when I became mad in tournaments, I obviously played worse or I it was so yeah clear that I didn't play that good so compared to the beginning and 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 then you and then you you made it true that you tried to stay in a positive mindset for, for exactly for every every tournament that they play like if you if you go into his stream his mm -hmm. his face is always smiling if he, even if for example uh, he gets hit by a counter hit I, I would I would freak out, freak out if, if I'm for example he you're plus five and you still get hit by a counter hit it's it's insane sometimes mm. how how you stay calm I I, I give you bravos to that honestly <laughs> yeah I, I stay calm but I'm also surprised sometimes you see my weird faces or I'm quite known for these weird faces I got or expressions facial expressions but um, yeah this is normal that weird stuff is happening. Mm. It's normal. It's, it's Tekken 7 after all. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a game after all. Not only Tekken 7. People are blaming Tekken 7 for that. But uh, in F overall, uh, every game can be weird in some way. Or things can happen that you never have seen. So this is normal. You shouldn't be surprised about that. So, you've started Tekken quite quite uh, some time ago. Um, when, mm -hmm. when you when you first played the the series, did you ever think that you would reach this level of uh, prof professionalism in in in, in Tekken? Like, have, do you know that you've reached to a certain you point that when you were starting off, you didn't really think you were going to reach it? Mm, in that in that uh, way, not. I was like, okay, I wanted to become. My first goal was to become the best. Uh, I wanted to beat my fan, a uh, friend first. Yeah. I wanted to beat my friend, and then after that, I was like, "Now let's see how good Germany is." And I wanted to beat every German player or become the best German player. And obvi obviously, there was already a scene in Germany, which was also quite strong or super strong at, at that time for me because uh, I won against my friend. After one year, he beat me all the time. But then, when I entered the tournament, I kicked. Uh, I just, I didn't make it through my pools. Mm -hmm. I lost in my pools already. I, I was like, man, they are so good here in Germany. <laughs> and I need to practice for that. And I need to invest time for that. 
And, yes, that, and that's I... basically how you continued on striving and becoming, wanting to become better, basically. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, this helped me to become better. And you, sp you, you talked about Germany. Do you ever mm -hmm. feel like it's, it's more pressure when you like participate in international tournaments, like to have a country resting on your shoulders? It is tough. It is definitely tough. Uh, mostly, I feel it in them in Germany. You know this tournament? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. a big, it's a big one. Yeah, uh, like the whole German people are behind me. And quite, I, quite shit. literally, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, literally behind on on my uh, game, um, on my chair, and I'm like, shit, I I need to represent Germany well, and this gives me so much stress actually. But yeah, I need to stay calm, otherwise they will get disappointed, and I don't want I don't want to disappoint my my fans. This is also something which makes it even tougher for me. Mm -hmm. Because when I know I I can disappoint people, I am playing worse. Uh, okay. This doesn't make me good. So, so it's like the added pressure from everything from from Germany <laughs> to your fans to to you wanting to 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 pl place well as well. It's it's not only that the pressure of uh, of uh, Germany. It's the, the pressure of you wanting to perform better than you pl played. Be beforehand like you want a better placement than last year like it's yeah I won't. It's for me game. it's important yeah. um, besides of playing better um or pref having good uh, having a good placement is having a good set like okay it's good if i win but if i win with weird moves like down back one for example mm -hmm. i'm not happy about it to be honest so i'm like okay i won but <laughs> at what cost <laughs> the, yeah at what cost it doesn't my doesn't know my opponent Miguel well, so if I if my opponent doesn't know Miguel well, it doesn't feel that rewarded to win because mm -hmm. I'm like, man, he didn't duck that, he didn't punish that, he didn't do this stuff against Miguel, which are basic anti stuff, mm -hmm. because not everyone knows Miguel and yes, some wins doesn't feel that well earned. Honest. and it doesn't make me that happy but if i know that i did some right reads and <laughs> some crazy stuff like rage art and sick anti stuff it makes me more proud you feel more satisfied that you pulled it off in in, in a tournament as, as yeah, well in the, tournament, in the clutch situation in, because in everyone, everyone can perform it in ranked for example but not everyone can do it in a in a in the same mindset of playing in a tournament like it's exactly. it's it's incredible how sometimes it you don't after you you watch the matches you say ah, i could have done this usually i i I, I block and punish, I, I duck and uh, still uh, still I didn't punish. It's it's insane sometimes how uh, how it, if if you reflect and try to stay cool that mm. it, it will succeed in your favor. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, another question that that re is related to to the previous one is. You said that the, the Germany made you, once you faced uh, the people of Germany, want, you wanted to uh, be better at it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, apart from, from Germany, well, when, what country did you think made you want to play better at Tekken? Well, like, mm, after you faced, I play uh, against after, uh, Yeah, yeah, so, 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 mm. sorry. You mean, uh, which country do I like uh, that becomes better than Germany, or which uh, way? Uh, it's more of after you visited that that country, you said, "Oh my God, I have to train more to to be able to beat those kind of players." Mm. It's not about the country; it's more about the players that I'm focusing mm -hmm. on. Like, I remember in Munich, the first Tekken Seven tournament, where in season one, where JDCR also attended, uh, I played against Super Kuma. And he played so good against my Miguel, and I was so shocked. And I was like, I don't want to lose against uh, Super Akuma like that again. Because everyone was new, let's say like that. Nobody knew who was the upcoming top player in Tekken 7. And he beat me really good, and in a, such a convincing way. And I was like, he kept in my, he was in my mind. 
when I um, when I um, played in the tournament. In general, some players are are playing outstanding compared to other players, which are in my mind. Like for example, um, versus fighting. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, okay, not versus fighting maybe, <laughs> but, but uh, mix up, mix up okay. the French tournament. Like there was uh, Bambino, mm -hmm. and uh, people very... told me, yeah, he's super good, and, but he doesn't travel that much. And he's and people and he was like, let's do first of five, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. So I wasn't that I was scared or he I was like, how, uh, how, how good could Bambino be? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he did something. I have, I swear, I swear. Uh, in my whole Tekken experience, I have never seen this anti against me again, and he did it. Like, <laughs> you know, Savage One Four in season one was steppable, yeah, and nobody knew did it. this, yeah. I, and I didn't knew it, and he did it against me. He did sidestep into delayed hop kick. And do it. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> it beat me five zero, and I was like. Bambino, what are you doing? How could this be? And, yeah, how could this be? It's so good, and he, I didn't know, and nobody, and oh, this was in my mind for so long, and what the yeah, that was pretty, <laughs> pretty funny to see that. And this, some players are like in my mind when I enter tournaments who are super strong, because I like to do casuals a lot in tournaments, and just playing. Besides of watching the tournament, just play. So it is worth it uh, to enter the tournament for, for getting experience. So you have like a target on who you want to, to play beforehand? You go to the tournament? Yeah, this as well. Hmm. At this end, um, I want to... Um, I play as much as I can. Like, hmm. of course, the tournament, watching tournaments is always fun. But playing against international players that you usually don't have the opportunity to play against is even more important. Like if, it, like if, if a Korean or uh, someone overseas comes, uh, you, you you want to take the opportunity to play them. Definitely, definitely. Like not even Koreans, but also just play because I know different countries are playing. Uh, countries are playing different. Like German, for example, is more like the passive way. I would say. But uh, the UK is more aggressive, and French as well. And the Germans are not used to aggressive players. Mm -hmm. And so this is a good practice for players like me to, to, to get used to this style, mm -hmm. which I like. That's why I say to the Germans, you need to travel to have experience, because they only know this tournament like, or this, the German players, and they think like, okay, yeah, I every, need to play against everyone. And like everyone that. and everyone plays like that. They would think like, uh, it's the proper way to play Tekken. And yes, in, but in, it's in, not. In fact, there's millions of ways how to play Tekken. Exactly. And uh, countries have their unique style, I would say, with that. So you we need to get used to this style. I see, I see. I see, I see what you're getting at. Um, uh, mm. We're speaking of countries as well. Um, besides mm -hmm. Tekken. Is mm -hmm. there is there a country that made you want to travel there again because of the food? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh Greece was awesome. Oh, Greece. Greece um, was insane as well. Like COTO, COTO, Clash of exactly. the Olympics was. Mm -hmm. The food was insane, man. I, it's. It was uh, delicious. It was cheap. It was. The weather was awesome. The location was awesome. Everything was super. And um, some of my German, fr German friends were with me, so I had more fun mm. than usual. And um, having the right people in the right place, like the right Tekken players, you're not only with them friends in the Tekken scene, yeah, because yeah. of Tekken, you can also talk to them because you understand you have other interests, Interest, other, yeah, yeah. other hobby, hobbies. So it was a pretty cool weekend or trip overall, mm. seeing Greece and overall it was, it was so it nice. Was insane. Yeah, the, the, the weather especially was very good yeah. when, when I went there. Um, yeah. But I, as you said, like friends as well. I, mm -hmm. w when, we, when we go out, 
and I, I'm go out with tech infants. Even if if we're talking to a different subject, we always end up still talking about Tekken. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's it's amazing how every conversation can lead up to to <laughs> to like frames or situations. It's insane sometimes mm-hmm. how it, how we accomplish that feat. I I, st- I still don't know. I I have a story to tell. When I was in when while I was in Greece, we mm-hmm. were eating well, at least one of the best meals that we had there. And, okay. and and before that, I don't know how, like we saw Girland uh, uh, coming across, and then we picked it up on how Katarina is like, is is so different in that season, uh, mm-hmm. and just from eating something, we, we were talking about Tekken. It's insane. Uh, yeah, this is weird that this uh, is going like that. Um, that can happen, can happen. but it's, it's but you're not meeting. Tekken players, so many and famous Tekken players in one place in a turn during a tournament time. So you want to take the advantage of having them in one place and just talk out or just ask things about them. Um, about Tekken, I would say, mm-hmm. like um, when I see Super Kuma or John Ding or I don't know any other Tekken player, I would ask specific things that I wouldn't that I couldn't do. Uh, somewhere else or online. I want to ask them personally, not then only in the in the online world. Um. So we were. T- I, I I was talking about characters. Um. Mm-hmm. Why would you pick pick Miguel out in 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 Tekken Seven? Like, why not maybe change characters or be able to to see other characters because they. Tekken 7 introduced a lot of new characters. Why, mm-hmm. why, why stick with with the character uh, or try to develop him more than usual? Like mm, because um, I always played him since, or I started to play him in Tekken 6, and I'm like, man, not many people are playing in in, in that consistent. Some players, okay, started to play him just for one season because he had a really good tool like Savage Storm for 2, mm-hmm. huge pushback, but I want to be consistent with my character and not changing like this this meta where um, I need to play another character. For example, uh, Shaheen interests me as well, but uh, switching to him, it doesn't feel that right. I don't know. And in and somehow I got my identity identity with Miguel. With Miguel. And if I'm and if I switch to different characters, I feel like I I'm losing my identity. But yeah, it like actually isn't yourself. like mm-hmm. yeah, because I feel like someone needs to be really successful with, with Miguel. With Miguel and it yeah. is possible, and it is possible, but nobody reached it, and I and somehow I want to reach it oh, to show okay. He's actually, like you said to your friends, like people should think Eddie is it's, top it's, tier. Top tier, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because... for example, yeah, uh, glaciating is showing the people how good Miguel can be. Mm-hmm. And people are like, man, wow. Miguel is top tier. <laughs> Miguel is top tier. <laughs> Miguel, we, we, who, who's this Miguel guy? Like, I, yeah. I, I, I always skipped him. <laughs> it's, and uh, I want to show it in, offline, in the offline world, wow. like. That it is possible, yeah. It, it, it mm-hmm. is possible that uh, that one can reach such levels that you have. Damn, bro! Come on, you know I can't say the point. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, um. So, most people have seen you, like, after each tournament, you've improved massively. What What is the process of? of going to your next tournament after a tournament loss like what's what's mm. the the mentality that goes into that uh, it depends on my match how i lost but sometimes my matches were are one sided and and i'm like why did i lose so com- i lost sometimes so convincingly for example in the second set versus jdcr he, he analyzed me so well and i'm like how is it possible and it's 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 frustrating to to get beat up like that. But then when I'm at home and at, and it needs a couple of days, I'm analyzing these matches and see what I need to change. Like okay, I lost, but I can also improve. And 
since I know that the strategy in Tekken is like um, this is like a rock paper scissor mechanism mm -hmm. or uh, system in Tekken, yeah, like Tekken, yeah. like one thing beats the other thing and so on, like and um, I need to understand it better and um, be, play it better, I would say. And um, during my losses, I try to to lap that or. When I'm at home, I'm like, okay, I need to rewatch it. I need to, um, I need to change something. Mm -hmm. Like, and some, some problems I had in tournaments are obvious. And if I would see it once, or would other people could tell me what my problem was during this, this set, and I try to, to change only one thing in my practice session, for like. Sometimes I'm only looking for whiff punishment mm -hmm. and nothing else. And when I am only looking for that, my other tools or my other skills are not that great, but at least I'm, I'm working on my whiff punishment. And this makes this area better. Or I will play, I will increase my skill in this area better. And yeah. Okay. This is how I'm looking forward to, to change it. To work on specific okay. mistakes. <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, so you said as well um, that. Oh, nice, nice. Thank <laughs> okay. um, you. You've been streaming quite a lot now. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think that streaming and having that interaction with with viewers that could help you at that exact moment? Uh, mm. actually helped you improve in the game or was it more of an interference because they're talking you have your mind in the chat or is how is the mm. influence of of that element while you play in a tournament mm, that's a good question it's difficult i don't um sometimes my viewers are giving good points about the fact about my mistakes what i'm doing like for example, in the, in the, uh, about the tournament two or three weeks ago, I um, lost because I was too defensive. Mm -hmm. And the, my viewers in the chat said, man, you, did, you didn't do any lows against your opponent. You're too scared. Usually you don't play like that. <laughs> I'm like, OK, uh, I, don't want, I don't want to see it, but they are right. Somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know in the, they want. They, they, want they, to... they want the best for you, basically. Yeah, they want the best for me, exactly. And I shouldn't be that stubborn and uh, like, okay, I don't listen to my viewers because they just want the best for me. And I, I take it, um, I'm looking, I'm appreciating this, this help from of them. Mm -hmm. But um, this is helping me in some way. But interacting with the chat, for example, like now we do, that we're talking and playing, I'm not good at it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I am I'm not a multitasking able person and things like that where I talk and and play, it's it's giving me a lot of it's it's, it's frustrating. For me. It's frustrating. It's I, frustrating. I, 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 Struggling example, with the language as well. Yeah, you know yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I struggle a lot with the language as well. Since, <laughs> since English is not my first language, to yeah. translate everything what I want to say is, <laughs> it's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, but we become better in many different things, like becoming better in English, um, into being more interactive, being more socialized. Lies. I like these things about that that uh, we are having and um, if I have serious matches I sometimes say to my chat I need to I I'm quiet now mm -hmm. and I need to focus and mostly they understand and they they don't uh, that's I, not then it's okay for them they, 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 like they don't expect you to entertain them while you're you're focusing on the match basically exactly i i for example i also do like i say i'm not gonna look at the chat because i'm this is an important game like i did that when we played i'm like mm -hmm. yo guys i know it's it's shits and gigas but it's it's Seffy black man i can't <laughs> i can't i can't look at the chat so it's so it's just me doing doing it and and in fact, I played quite good, I would say, compared to my other matches. But yeah, we played really good. <laughs> but uh, 
it's it is what it is when, when once you're streaming it's the interaction is is the most important part of it so mm -hmm. it, it's nice to have such a f following to actually interact with and to mm -hmm. help you with as well because even for example i saw like t today or yesterday uh the doc from paris came to your chat and helped you against against uh reviewing your match against strong mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, exactly. That that's the key elements that you can have while while streaming, and it, it is good. It is. Good. It's definitely good. It's definitely good. But yeah, you need to distinguish when you need your your silence. I would say, but sometimes having the right advice of the right players, since you have, we got the viewers that are that can help us. Mm -hmm. But yeah, having a good balance of both of these things. I don't want to be boring. In, in streams, yeah. that's why I, I'm not so silent always. But for tournament matches, of course, I need to. I need to. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Ah, let's... Ah. Ah, nice. Does it whiff? No. no nice. <laughs> maybe, I was like, maybe oh, in with a... the action. <laughs> maybe in uh, some other day, but today, no. <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah, so last last question. Um, uh, it's more mm -hmm. of it's more of a statement. There was mm -hmm. a rumor going on, like uh, that when you were born, you came out smiling. Was it true? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh man, I was a crybaby when I was a, a child. Man, I was. I cried so often, and I was super annoying. I would say and maybe I'm still that annoying, but not. Uh, I'm. I screamed and shouted loud. And, <laughs> man, I was. Yeah, I wasn't that happy. I would say. Um, uh, but it, it was only a joke because you're so cheerful <laughs> on your stream. Uh, I would say this guy is like he was born naturally happy. <laughs> This is this is cute of the viewers or of the people that think that I'm always smiling. But I just try to have a positive mindset because, after all, it's a game that we that we are all enjoying. Even though people are saying, "Man, I hate it. Tekken Seven is bad." Uh, actually, they love it. Mm -hmm. They investing yeah, yeah, yeah. a thousand of hours or hundred of hours and say they hate it, but actually they love it. I, I have a friend of mine who. Who says he hates the game so much? Like he he hates it, like to the to the extreme. But he he catches I catch him like watching four streams at once, mm -hmm. watching the PlayStation <laughs> Finals, uh, the King of the Hill. He he's yeah. watching Fergus as well and some yeah. other streamer. So he I'm like bro, just pick a side. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they they can't be honest to themselves, and I'm like I don't want to be like that. I know sometimes I hate the game, but don't lie to yourself. Like it's a bad game. It's not. Um, Otherwise, we wouldn't play that so often. Anyways, uh, do you have anything like? Is we're nearing the end of the interview? Do you have anything like to shout out? Maybe your Twitch channel, or maybe your, mm. your YouTube, or something you would like to say? Uh, yeah, I'm mostly like I said at the end, like people like you and uh, the fans and the players love the game even though they are not happy with the balances or with uh, some tiers or some tournaments or online overall i think we all enjoying the game and just want to have a great time and in doing tournaments offline tournaments we see it the most that people are enjoying it and i feel like it's a hard, tough time for every every person who who loves Tekken right now? Because uh, um, we've we've been so deprived from uh, from offline for, exactly. for over a year now. Yeah, for over a year we are not able to visit offline events, not seeing each other, uh, which is um, yeah something that we used to do like every second week or something like that. Mm -hmm. And now it's not possible for over a year, and I think. Um, if we have more uh, offline events, uh, it's becoming better. Yeah, the environment, we will have more fun. The environment the will be much more healthier, I, I, I would say. Um, exactly. Uh, after that, okay. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it, guys. The video is uh, wrapping up. Uh, any maybe last words from you, Sefi Black? 
Uh, thank you, Leonidas, for having me here. <laughs> it was uh, fun to play against you and talk uh, with you. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah. you, um, uh, your your socials will be down below as well. Like his uh, Twitch, go check him out. Uh, you've you've obviously clicked this video <laughs> to to you you know who he is. <laughs> so uh, see you guys. Thank you for the for watching the video and bye bye for me.